What if you kill me now? I swear to God, you will be hearing from my lawyers. What is up, people, and welcome back to Bloodborne. Today, we continue with the Chalice Dungeons, and I wish I could say I was excited to begin. However, we got to fight Rom immediately. I've got no time to warm up here. It is straight in with quite a difficult fight. And you know what? I'm still salty about the last time he was one hit away from death. So, uh, let's just go for it, I suppose. Why not, eh? Why not, eh? Damn, dude. And, uh, yeah, there might be, um, record levels of salt in this episode. Things will get salty. Uh, it doesn't get any easier from here. In fact, it gets a whole lot harder. We will be doing the Defiled Chalice, uh, immediately after this one. So, yeah, time to get good. And this is probably what I'd consider to be the peak of difficulty in Bloodborne. It's up there. It's up there. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, okay. Beast blood pellet strats. See how we get on. Come on, bro. Shall we, shall we retrieve the blood echoes? Right. Spam. 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 Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. That really did hurt. Wow. That was sloppy. That's... Huh! It's about a quarter of his health bar. I'll take it. Oh, here we go. This guy's a giant asshole, man. I must get my spiders to do my bidding whilst I vomit all over the floor and shoot gunk out of my asshole. Not a huge fan. I don't know if I can even be bothered to deal with the spiders. Ah! Hell of a display there, bud. What's the occasion? Are you celebrating being a massive cock? Fuck! Sake! Okay, it's going alright so far, though. Uh, oh, hello. Ah, into AoE! Jog on. You gotta wonder if you can teleport, bro. Why don't you just go somewhere else, bud? Ho oh, ho ho ho! Nearly died, didn't I? Fuck! Bye, guys. Ha! Ah. Lovely. Get a load of this guy. Okay, I think if we do hit and run strats, I think we'll be alright. I find it odd that he makes like a jump scare noise every time he attacks. What's going on? Okay, yeah, okay. Ho 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 I do not want to get dunked on, bro. Yeah, nice. Okay, okay, bro, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna give myself the biggest pat on the back if I can do this first time. I should not say things like that, though. Uh, yes. I am feeling good today, boys. I got a good feeling about this. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, he's having a tantrum. Things aren't going your way. Too bad, bud. Uh, again. Oh, yeah, we got this. We got this, man. Damn. Actually, <laughs> I must remind myself that I died one hit away from killing him last time. So let's not celebrate too soon. Oh, great. You can do a roly-poly. Well done. What are you? Three years old. But you're dead, though. But you're dead, though. Fuck yeah, dude. Today is going to be a good episode indeed. Hell yeah, dude. So how do we do Defiled Chalice? When do you get the Defiled Chalice? Gonna have to do some research. Wait, does it keep going? Why? Wait a minute, what? Was that not the last boss of the chalice? Are there four bosses? Okay, there's a layer four. Fucking great. So what's the boss of this one then? One of the bullshit beasts, I, uh, I reckon. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I got a question for those of you that enjoy these videos of mine. Please do let me know down below in the comments section. Do you like edited Let's Plays? Because you'll notice I do cut out chunks here and there where nothing really happens. Like if I'm wandering around in circles or nothing of value is really happening and I don't really say much. 
Most Let's Plays, at least the ones I watch, do not really edit. They, they keep it as is, intact. You know, the raw, unfiltered experience of the game, even if there does happen to be downtime. And I'm not too worried about downtime in general, even in the bits where I'm not talking much. Like, there's always something going on. At least I like to think so. So, if you guys could let me know down below, would you like me to edit these videos less? Would you like me to keep them pretty much intact uh, on my end? Uh, obviously, I'll remove loading screens and stuff, but, you know, I'm just trying to gauge what the, uh, what the consensus is there. You know, but as I've said before, we are bringing back longer Let's Plays. There are going to be less videos overall, but they'll be longer and of a higher quality. I would think I've basically been recording videos every day for the last year, and I just can't keep up with that. Some days I'm just not feeling it. So I'd rather, you know, less videos overall, but longer and of a higher quality. Where the fuck am I going, man? All right, come on then. You're bloody useless, but whatever's going to help me get through these dungeons a bit quicker, you know. Is there a ladder? There is. Resonates with another. That was a pretty damn good rom kill, though, if I do say so myself. Hit and run strats, man. Hit and run strats. Nailed it. Didn't even kill a single spider. Oh, no. It's this guy. You're in the wrong video game, bro. You really are. Ah, ha, ha. Lovely. Man, this game is so dope. So, so dope. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I do like this game. I have to admit, though, it's a lot like Dark Souls. And I find that very curious. Like, I've got no idea who actually made this game, but they sure did rip off Dark Souls a lot, man. It's basically Dark Souls with a gothic horror skin. It's a little bit faster, but I mean, you, you've even copied the summoning mechanic, bro. Get some originality. Anyway, obvious jokes aside, man, Olek, I am not going to wait around for you. you. You stick with me or you die. Those are your options. Oh, no. <laughs> right in the ass. <laughs> Got him in the ass. Nice. Very good. Oh, a spider. Come on, Olek. Show me what you're made of. <laughs> you got the you got the, the right idea there. What do you mean I can't just shoot stuff to death? What kind of what kind of guns are in this game, bro? I can't just shoot. What? I thought this was Call of Duty. I'm dead. Well, that's what I get for making a stupid joke. Olic, avenge me. He won't. He's terrible. Does it cost an insight to summon? I think it does. It does. We're swimming in it, though, man. We've almost got eyes on the inside. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. And I, I'm inclined to believe this guy will help. Although he's yet to prove himself, so who knows. Have I been in here yet? Wait, we got the boss door open, no? Yeah, we did. However, I do want to see what's in that room with the dogs and the uh, watcher. Recycled bosses. What is this? Dark Souls 2. Jesus Christ. Ah, where are my echoes, though? Have they... Ah! They've been absorbed, I bet. Olic. Hurry up, bro. Oh, the spider got them. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> you don't just shoot stuff in this game. Oh, to be fair, I did knock him on his ass. Oh, okay, he's got strats. He's got strats. Maybe I've been too hard on this dude. Oh, dusty. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, I did not see you there. <laughs> he wasn't even going for me. What a fool you are. You got played, son. Keep your eyes on the prize. Got him. Down, boy. What? What was that hitbox? No match for Armon Spam. Twin Bloodstone Shards. Whole bunch of shit. Is there anything here? Oh, no. Tired. So I'm genuinely curious what the boss of this is. It's not going to be easy. I think it's Abhorrent. Abhorrent Beast. I think that's it. Ah, it's a trap. But I also... Fuck me. Come on now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is fine. This is fine. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by a bunch of spiders, I think there are some unique bosses in the Loran chalices. However, I don't know. So, 
If one of you happens to know what the deal is there, feel free to let me know. Olek! I cannot leave without my boy. My boy. I'll let him catch up. But I swear there's at least a few bosses that I won't be able to fight unless I do the Loran chalices. It's also like a part of the game that we otherwise wouldn't experience. It's got like a unique vibe to it. Unique aesthetic. So we should show that off, although I'll, I'll do as little as I need to do to get those bosses ticked off, you know. There are a lot of bosses in this game, man. I don't know how many exactly, not quite Dark Souls 2 levels of bosses, but quite a lot. Hello, doggy. Do I have any... Oh! Oh my god. Olic, bail me out here. No way you're getting a charged R2 with a Kirk camera off, bro. Not against these enemies. There we go. Dude doesn't even care that we just slaughtered his animals. <laughs> no, you ruined my visceral attack, Olic. Olic at these nuts of mine. You bastard. Can put your combustion away. <laughs> you are in the wrong video game. Bam. Finally. All right, there are my echoes. There's also traps here. We now know that, so let us be careful. Where are you not? Ah! I don't learn. And the problem here is... They're just going to respawn. They're just going to respawn. We need to find the dinner lady. Where is she? Where is the dinner lady? I hear you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Olek, where is the maiden? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there we go. There we go. Lovely. Please tell me this was a worthwhile endeavor. Firepaper. We need to stock up on buffs. Stock up. We need to stock up on buffs. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but we are going to allow it. What are you doing in there, bud? Found yourself a neat little uh, hiding place there. Olic, no. Oh, dude. Reeks of B team, even though they had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Gotcha! There we go. Okay, there's something good in that coffin, I'm assuming. More ritual blood. I guess it was worthwhile. Are there also chests? Yeah, there's one here. We should heal. You know what, guys? It's really not good, but I've gotten into the habit of forgetting to look at my health bar. And that's like... That is so amateur. That's one of the first things you really need to be aware of in a Souls game. Like, routinely checking your health bar. To be fair, I sit so close to my monitor that it's kind of out of my peripheral vision. It's not good, but that's that's just how the layout of this room is, right? Pissing scorpions once again. Get off! Very resistant. Very resistant. Wait, how do you like thrusting? It's... <laughs> Absolutely fine with thrusting. Dude, Olic, how did you get here? Did you take a different route through? All right, he's a bit heavy-footed, isn't he? Oh, textbook visceral attack, bro. Who be tossing firebombs, though? Oh, fuck! Really hurt, right? I can't be... Can't be getting spammy, man. I gotta be sensible from here on out because <laughs> things are getting really hard. <laughs> I said it before, but uh, Miyazaki, I commend you for not adding mimics to this game because that would make Chalice Dungeons an absolute joke. There are so many chests in here. I have to wonder why you didn't, though. Like, is it too Dark Souls? Because, uh, I mean, there's a lot of Dark Souls in this game. Let's see your cheeks, then. Let's see your cheeks, then. This is why you always equip the monocular. Whoops. I thought that would zoom in. It did not. Is that the sound of this video getting demonetized? What am I doing? What am I doing? Shall we play first person? Yeah, right. Okay, now it is Call of Duty. Yeah, we can... We can, uh... We can't do this. Fucking hell, there's just so many enemies. So many. Seriously, everyone gives Dark Souls 2 a hard time for ganks. I 
didn't even realise just how ridiculous the Chalice Dungeons were. I mean, I've done these before, but I, I guess we all forget. Olic is getting eaten to death by rats. Olic, hang in there, bud. I'm coming. I th I have, like, balls of sludge ever been fun to fight in a Souls game? I don't think they ever have. Can we just stop? Oh, he sucked me. I don't even know where he is. Normally, I like to look people in the eyes when they suck me. No, I'm doing... No, no, no. He's flexing, and that's not good. It's fine. We ended it. I don't think we've even seen that yet, but when they get to half health, they, uh... Good shot. They, uh... The moveset changes. They buff. They get a lot stronger and more aggressive, and you really don't want to deal with that. They're tough enough as is. I'm not fighting all of these sludge monsters. I'm not doing it. Okay. That's, um, where we dropped down initially. Ain't gonna stop Oleg, though. 12 damage with the Kirk camera on one, bro. You are going to be there forever. Goodbye. We got loads of, loads of echoes, though. Did I level up after Rom? I did not. That was irresponsible of me. So, do we chance it with our souls? Or do we level up? Watch, uh, I know what the sensible thing to do is. It is to go back to Hunter's Dream, but that's gonna, you know, 40 seconds of loading or so, bro. I'm lazy. I've only got a limited amount of time on this planet. I don't want to sit in the loading screen if I can avoid it. No, no, no. We'll, we'll level up because we should. And in theory, it'll make the fight slightly more manageable. Probably gonna chuck those souls into vitality because... Although I might have said something to suggest otherwise, as I typically do. Uh, let's get health up. It will... It will help. Also, let's have a look at runes, because I haven't done that in fucking ages. And we'll look at gems as well. Why not? I'm not really, you know, on my A game when we're recording. And I think that's abundantly clear. Like, you don't need me to tell you that. You know, normally I sit in silence if I'm playing video games. Of course, like, what? I'm not insane. I'm not just going to talk to myself like a madman. Although that is effectively what I am doing. And that would be pretty on brand for Bloodborne. It must be said. Oh, I've got a... Olek! Disrupt resonance. Okay, back to Hunter's Dream. We've got the boss door open, so... Let's do some, uh, housekeeping. And then on to whoever the boss is. Holy shit, it's getting expensive. That'll do. Very well. Oh, another two levels. Damn. Fuck yeah, dude. Someone said something about not using Blood Rapture. And now I'm like, what the fuck is Blood Rapture? So we got the two. Well, the one that raises stamina and the two that raise HP. So we've got another 15% HP, which is lovely. What is Blood Rapture? This will attacks restore HP. It's probably pretty good, right? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Is that better than, uh... Why do I have that on? Why? Oh, God, I've had that for so long. That would be so much better. 10% more stamina, or... Fuck it. Let's do. Well, let's do? Well, you know, we've got 10% less stamina than we did have, but our stamina regen is now slightly faster because of that rune that I got so long ago now and completely forgot about we're going to repair this just because. And we're going to check gems. It's probably not going to really have any effect. Oh, that's the one I have on Arcane Attack. That's like the only physical gem we have for this slot. What is this slot called? Waning. It says right there. I think we have the best gems available to us, man. We'll, uh, we'll farm some Winter Lanterns somewhere down the line. Right, so let us find out. Who we are actually fighting, and I think it's going to be a tough fight. Please don't be a side room. I can't be bothered. I want to get out of here, bro. Oh. Hyper armor? You're way too skinny and gangly to get hyper armor, bro. That's unfair. Hey, what is this? Is this another summon? Walla! Have you come to redeem yourself? You got one shot by that enemy that's from Dark Souls. Lovely. I didn't think I had that. 
Oh, damn. Yes, Blood Rapture. I've never used this rune. Just end it. Why are you covered in tentacles, bro? Disgusting. Oh, no, okay, no, we've had enough arse cheeks in this episode. What's down there? Oh, that's where we were. What do I hear? Christ, that is a noisy weapon. Oh, he's got the uh, amygdala arm. I was going to say, why has he got a DLC weapon? But I didn't. I don't think there were any NPC summons up until Old Hunters, actually. Which is odd, but what a good change, man. Oh, oh bullsh bollocks to that. Fucking spawn camping, bro. Ha. Regrettably, I have failed my mission. Uh, the Waller doesn't care. This is going to get you killed, my friend. Hey, and Waller, I'll see you when I wanna wanna. Let's go. Oh. Well done, mate. To be fair, that's pretty dope fashion. Blood vial. Okay, we got a sage's wrist. Which is uh, important, apparently. I don't fucking know or remember, man. Praise the wiki. I'd be completely fucked without it. Okay, let's get out of here. Ho oh. ho! Yeah, I don't think Waller's gonna follow 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 suit, man. Waller ain't gonna follow, man. I don't blame him, but we do want to send him home anyway, and I think it's just onto the boss now. Whoever that may be, find out next time. No, we're good with doing it now. Of course we are. I don't want no cliffhanger bullshit, bro. What is this? A sitcom? Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I think it's Abhorrent Beast. Who are you? Oh, fuck. What? Oh, well, I'm intimidated. I'm not ready, man. Oh. Okay, I remember. He doesn't have the worm, though. He's not headless. Okay. See how we go on. Okay. I think we might be alright here. I don't know. See what tricks he's got up his sleeve. Oh. That was delayed. Fuck what? All aboard the pain train. Yeah, kind of want to roll into him. Get some hits on his legs. But don't get too spammy because he likes to slam. You and me both, bud. Okay, not going too badly so far. Ugh. I'm not nailing that timing. At all, bro. Getting through a lot of heals so far. Okay. What now? Awesome design. Fuck, man. I gotta get that timing down. Okay, that's a good opportunity to get some hits in there. Why did that stagger me? I hate that bullshit. When you get staggered just from them walking slightly. Okay, we dodged it that time. I think maybe I need to close the gap a little bit. Okay, he's down to half HP. We've got 12 vials left. I'm sorry, what? Don't AoE, no. Bro, what are you doing? What was that? Can someone explain? Was he, like, regenerating limbs or some shit? I know some of the beasts love to do that, don't they? Like, cleric beasts. Fucking loser. Yeah, that's that's a move you got to be careful with. I should be doing transformation attacks, bro. I should also have fire paper on. Oh. Uh, it's hard to see, man. There's a reason I'm playing unlocked, but even still... He's just a big old bastard, and what can you do? No. Okay. Maybe I just run away there. Save his bet. 
Yes, yeah, spam it, why don't you? Fucking ass. I am the one who spams. And no one else. Not in. No, I'm in a fuck. Ah! I thought he boxed me in there. Nice, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is uh, it's going really, really well. Did we get good? Far from it, but you have to admit, things are going all right today. And I'm stoked on that. Yes! Yes, wrong button. Take our bow, Dennis. Slayer of Beast. The. I see it, the Hunter. Was this a slayer of demons? This is not demon souls. Very similar though. Must be made by the same people or some shit. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, can I afford anything? I didn't mean to do that. How did I do that? German awaits you. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to fight him. I don't want to fight a guy in a wheelchair, man. I really don't. I don't feel all right about that. I'm literally like too... Hold on me. Shut up, dude. Two or three hundred blood echoes away from have it being able to level up. So let's um, sure overkill, but sure. Gamma. Yep. Very well. I just, oh, man, don't you miss bonfire leveling? Why I got to talk to some idiot every time? Every time. Why wow, we do not have a lot of vials, but <laughs> I'll buy six then. Curse and defiled chalice. Oh, fucking what, bro? Oh, fuck. There's loads of shit to do. Cursed and defiled. Bastard of Loran. That's a great name. You're a bastard. Where'd you get a... Ba you have to go to Loran to get the Bastard of Loran. I'm certain of it. Wait, so what do I do for ailing Loran? Okay, we're not doing defiled anytime soon. We need cold blood flower bud. The mouthful. Cold blood flower bud. Can I purchase it within? Excuse me. Oh, it's <laughs> that's what the DLC is. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I bought some. I think we have to do a Loran chalice then. Because I can't do the curse and defiled chalice without a bastard of Loran. We do have the arcane haze extractor though, so we'll be able to get some haze. Okay, I just need souls. Fuck me. I'm so sorry, people. Why do, why do you watch this channel? Why though? Oh yes, we're missing a one third of an umbilical cord. Meaning, Dennis can't do moon presents because he's a fucking idiot. Well, I guess we got to do Loran. Unless, uh, you know, there might be another way. I could have just looked it up, I suppose, but uh, we have committed. So we'll do this. But like I've said, I think there are bosses here that we otherwise wouldn't experience. We need to do this anyway. Ailing Loran. And would you look at that? The change of scenery, however. A lot of the environments are fundamentally the same as before. At least the interconnecting areas like the corridors and shit. Of course, there are different mobs though. That's something. Lots of beasts here. So, uh, of course, this weapon will do work. Why? I'm gonna run out of bullets! Alright, stop spamming L2. This is what we should have done all along. Okay. Alright, blood bullets. I'm concerned about our lack of healing. Especially as things get harder and harder with the defiled chalice we might actually run out of vials we've been fortunate enough that that hasn't happened so far during this playthrough what i might do is um pop my consumable souls and just buy a shitload of vials however you do get a good supply going through the chalice dungeons so enough to keep us afloat the real problem is if we hit a not quite there yet uh which we will we will like it's gonna take me at least a few attempts to just learn the defiled bosses again because uh they can quite often one shot you so you know, you gotta be familiar with the tells as to not get one shot, obviously. No! Stop summoning! There's electricity in the air. It's electrifying! I'm not about to break into Grease Lightning, in case you were wondering. Oh, what are these guys? I didn't think I had it. These guys are terrifying. There we go. Proper headbanger haircut, that is. What's your favorite death metal band, bro? <laughs> Good aim. This guy could be in a metal band. Want to join my band? What was the metal? Amygdala on drums. And a brain sucker on vocals. But you could also have a madman. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't know who you'd get to play bass. I haven't really thought about it. 
bassists, am I right? Just a joke, guys. No shade towards bass players. A very essential part of any band and the rhythm section. I like good bassists. I don't like bassists that just picked up a bass to start a band and don't actually practice and are just really shit. And uh, in, in my personal life, I've had... You know, I've known more than a handful of bass players that are clearly just... You know, how can I enter a band with the least amount of effort? And they just... They suck, basically. But they get all that clout because they're, you know, they joined a band with a bunch of talented people. Not bitter at all, guys. But yeah, there are genuinely good bass players out there, as we all know. I don't know how I ended up on this tangent, but I did. Nothing against bass players. Just, you know, learn your craft, guys. Don't just start an instrument to join a band and get girls. If you want girls, don't play metal. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, this game's a lot more stable on the PS5. It doesn't drop nearly as much, but there's still obviously awful frame pacing but i am seem i am seem to be i seem to be i don't know it, it, this game's not like as much of a slideshow as it has been is there anything in here illusory wall we ain't never gonna find one bro can one of my viewers please confirm if they're even in this game please can someone let me know please not good so one of my viewers clued me in here. Uh, the Lumpy86, I think that's your name. Uh, these guys have a chance to spawn if you kill enemies with visceral attacks. And I never knew that. And that's so dope, right, that... Not just this game, but most of the Souls games. There's still stuff I don't know, even though I've spent, you know, hundreds of hours with all of them. There's still so much for me to learn. So many, like, obtuse and obscure game mechanics that you can easily miss. And that's fucking dope, dude. And I also think... The percentage chance of them spawning varies depending on the depth of the chalice. Like, this is a depth 4, chalice goes up to 5, and depth basically determines the uh, the goodies. Like, how good the loot is, but also how hard it is, how hard the enemies are, and the bosses. As far as I'm aware, I might be wrong there. Awfully windy up in here, ain't it? Okay, so I assume this is a side room, that's why. This is like an offshoot area. I'm looking for a boss door, so we haven't even really gotten into layer one yet. Jesus Christ. Well, feature length episode today, guys. Like I say, I can't get these out uh, as much as I used to, just because uh, I find that recording every day is just not good for my mental health. But here you go. Here's an hour long video for, for the OG true fans. Those of you that enjoy the videos. And as I often say... I do really appreciate each and every one of you for sticking with me. It's been a rocky journey so far. Like, commentary ain't easy, man, but you do get a feel for it and a flow for it. And I am glad that a lot of you guys have stuck with me since the, the very beginning, in fact. Here's a question, though, to my lovely viewers. Are any of you subscribed to this channel that didn't watch my metal covers back in the day because i'm inclined to believe that most of you are from when i did metal covers like that's where you when you subscribed and you just happened to uh you know transition with me as i moved into like gaming content shut up dude but i'm just curious i i really am curious if i've gained any new subscribers that are like just into the gaming stuff man I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but my channel is fucking cursed. In fact, I have mentioned this several times. My channel's cursed because my most popular videos are metal covers. So YouTube promotes them. I get new subs, and then I lose new subs when they see some dumb video about, you know, Mario Party or Mortal Kombat appear on their subscription feed. And they're like, well, I didn't fucking sign up for this. I wanted metal covers. So I get it. I get it. But uh, I'm past the point of no return. I either should have made a new channel before I started doing Let's Plays or, you know, I I don't do, make a new channel at all. Uh, so that's it. I just have to ride with it. This channel is cursed. It's on expert mode. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll grow. Because really, I don't have many subs anyway, right? So, you know, 3.5k, not to say I'm not grateful. That's awesome that I have that many subscribers. A lot of them, though, I gained uh, before I even posted actual videos of guitar stuff. Like, it was just, you know, stills of off of google images what brilliant hello there <laughs> obi-wan be like fuck me dude
tracks everywhere, bro. Yeah, I used to upload, you know, just the audio and then a picture from the game that I would find on the first page of a Google image search of, like, Sif Dark Souls. And uh, that's how I gained my first, like, one and a half thousand subscribers, I think. So only 2,000 are, like, since I started actually filming videos with my friends and taking covers seriously. And it's so funny, man. Um, I do remember, like, back when I wasn't trying, like, when I did the first batch of Dark Souls covers with a bunch of images... And the production was terrible, and I used to spend only a hand... What am I doing? Only a few hours on these arrangements, and I'd just slap them up, and I'd copy and paste the riffs, because I'd be like, eh, that'll do, which I just wouldn't do now. I have a completely, oh, completely different mindset towards music now, and I, I understand that things take time, and you should let things breathe, and strive for the best product available. Those subs came easy, man. I just shat out content, didn't really give it a second thought, and picked up Steam. But funnily enough, when I actually started trying to make good content, like stepping up the production quality, the videos, the arrangements, I was writing some ridiculously hard and stupid riffs that, you know, I was really, really pushing myself towards the, the end of like the, the guitar videos that I was making. I was really, really pu pushing myself. And um, let me just say, if you're not familiar with any of that, check out the Dark Souls 3 Madeir cover. I'd say that's the peak of my Dark Souls arrangements, like... I'm so stoked on that still. It's just a really dynamic arrangement, like lots to it. So many cool riffs and sections and solos and stuff. I did it again. I did it again. I forgot what my initial point was, which is brilliant. Fucking hell. I really have just... <laughs> oh, Dennis needs a day off, man. Dennis needs a day off. Fuck. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Once I started trying, I just, there was just like little to no growth, man. It's mad. Like, I wasn't trying, I gained one and a half thousand subs. And the moment I start actually, you know, thinking, oh, well, th I should do this to improve this. And, you know, uh, I started paying someone to do the production because it wasn't within my skill set. I had, you know, two of my friends help me make the videos and edit the videos. And I was really trying to, uh, you know, come up with the best possible arrangements. And there was, just, there was just very little growth. Very, very little growth. But I do understand that I was only doing that for like three years. And ha! it takes time. I realized that it takes time. And it might, might be different had I kept going. But uh, it just wasn't feasible to keep going. And honestly, I'd rather make gaming content. Like, I enjoy this so much that it's quite insane. The thing that it took me however many years to actually just start making videos like this. Doing let's plays and shit. I'm going to die. Christ, his arms are long and gangly. Another side room. But yeah, I also want to say, like, it's pretty dope that some of you have stuck with me. I realized that uh, shifting my content, like doing a complete 180 from guitar videos to actually just playing games and doing commentary. It was such a bad idea to do that, but I also, I think, you know, the few of you that did translate maybe wouldn't have if I just started a new channel. You don't know, man. But yeah, thank you for uh, bearing with me whilst I got better at doing commentary and making videos. And, you know, oh, the number of fucking issues we've had with uh, videos dropping frames and YouTube compression ruining videos, audio problems. It's mad. And this game still causes me issues in actual fact. You've probably noticed it will stutter from time to time. And that's just how the game captures, and I don't know if that's something to do with From Software's jank frame pacing and my capture card. It's From Software games, man, that they cause me fucking problems. They do. Whereas other games, you know, I can just hit record and you get a sweet, high quality 60 frames per second video with no drops, and the video comes out silky smooth, looking crisp, but Bloodborne just wants to give me fucking issues, bro. One of these rooms. Fucking hell, this is massive. This really is massive. Oh, one of these guys. Haven't seen you since Nightmare Frontier. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> He's just bodying me. All right, mate. What are you, a carny? What are you, a carny? Breathing fire. What is this, a circus? That's enough. Carny, circus folk. You know the ones. Smell like cabbage. Got him. Foul beast. Disgusting. Oh, 
Oh, I did the noise. Yeah, lovely. Ritual blood. One, though. Was it worth it? Okay, so I assume that's why we came into this little offshoot area. I do like this vibe, though, man. This is very, very cool. And kind of unlike anything else we see in Bloodborne. So I'll give them props there. Uh, I just get a little tired of it after a while. If you want to plant Bloodborne, you got to do all this. And uh, at least the combat's fun. At least the boss fights are fun. And you do get handsomely rewarded with, you know, gems. And fuck me, we got a lot of souls, bro. A lot of souls. Damn, we are going to step into the Old Hunter's DLC and just wipe the floor. We won't because those bosses are solid. But we're going to be in a very good position to do so. Definitely. Did Have we even opened the boss gate yet? We have. This is a side area. Dude, I forget. I guess this is the risk of the longer episodes. I am more prone to insanity. But like I've said, that's pretty on brand for Bloodborne. If I slowly lose my mind, I'm just immersing myself in the game world further, right? I just want eyes on the inside, bro. Uh, here we go. Wait, we've already fought one of these. That's another fucking carny. Oh, where's my fire paper? I had 10. I didn't put it on my fucking bar, bro. bro. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Bro, how have you not killed me? There we go. <laughs> Walking into a wall. Hello, mate. Yeah, so uh, Loran's thing is beasts, which is why the beast claws are here. He looked like he was throwing down there. I don't know if you saw that. Like, actually, like, two-stepping. Oh, I don't want to see what happens when you grab me. There he is. He's throwing down. I too listen to harm's way. Stop, bro. Yeah, beasts all over the shop. Literally in Loran. That's the thing. The bosses are beast. Beastly. Like abhorrent beast. Bloodletting beast and stuff like that. Blood-starved beast is also here. There's lots of beasts in this game. I wonder why. Well, uh, uh, this is not going so well, guys. I keep trying to parry him, but it's not really working. And we're low on vials again. He a tanky boy. I have a five-hit combo. Oh... Dude! I... This is embarrassing, honestly. How am I going to do ROM first time? Blood... Uh, blood... Whatever that beast was called. Finally, but I missed my opportunity. I mean, it shouldn't be hard. No. Well done. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Yes, <laughs> I can't parry that. I didn't think I had it. Yes, thank you. Wow, he is tanky boy. What is this? You buffing? Please don't. Please don't buff. Of course. I forget what game this is. Must have multiple move sets and phases. Oh, excuse me. How did that go through still? Oh. And now I got a combustion too. Thank you. My health back. And top me up and then some. Blood Rapture Baby. Thank you, Tyall. I believe that's your YouTube name. You the man. You the MVP. I want to hire this man for my son's birthday party. Man, he's a beast. <laughs> Might have been a man beforehand. Just how we're going, Bloodborne. Uh, for the record, I don't have a son. But if I did, I would hire this guy for the uh, birthday party. What? What? If you kill me now, I swear to God, you'll be hearing from my lawyers. You fucking disgusting cretin. Shut up. <laughs> Enough of that. You made your point. Prey slaughtered. Right, so. We got a lot of souls. However, we are going to wrap the video. That has been just shy of an hour on my end. I hope you've enjoyed the long video. I've had a great time putting this together. 
Um, and I hope you're on board for less videos but longer videos focusing on quality over quantity. And you know, who doesn't love an hour long Let's Play? I mean, I do. I suppose it depends if you like my content or not, but if you made it this far, I assume you do. So I hope you're on board. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Right, so you know what to do. Bang your heads and I will see you next time for more Ailing Loran Chalice and maybe the Defiled Chalice. We'll see how we get on. Goodbye, good hunters. Headbang. Headbang. <laughs>